Kids are heading back to school, but your sack lunch doesn't have to be drab. It can actually be quite tasty. Absolutely. This morning we have uh, Emily and we have Taylor from Pita Pit to share a little bit about different ways to kind of jazz up stuff for back to school lunch. Sack lunch doesn't have to just be a sandwich, right? right. That's right. Yeah, we're so excited back to school. This is a fun time. So we've, at Pita Pit, we have food on the brain, of course. Yeah. And we've been thinking of some ways to jazz up a sack lunch rather than the drab old sandwich routine. Mm -hmm. I mean, PB&J is good. But, <laughs> so what do we have here this morning? Show us uh, what we're making. Sure. Well, well, our idea is to do wraps or pitas in sack lunches rather than sandwiches. Here we're making a buffalo chicken pita. Taylor's going to put some of our romaine in the pita here. We've got chicken cooking up on the grill. When you come into Pita Pit and order, you choose your meat and we put it on the grill. You can add sauces, then you choose your veggies. Mm -hmm. And we stuff your pita full of veggies and cheeses. We have all kinds of veggies, cheeses, sauces. We can grill your vegetables too. So we've got some black olives, banana peppers, anything you can think of really. Yeah. When it comes to getting kids, I mean, we all want to be healthy, certainly, mm -hmm. but uh, when it comes to getting kids moving in the store, is it hard to get them to pick things like the vegetables and stuff, or are there, there ones that you think might appeal to them a little more? Well, you know, Pita Pit is very kid-friendly because with over 20 veggies, you really get to choose and customize your pita, decide which sauces you want. So it's very fun for kids to be able to see all the veggies that we offer and pick which ones that they'd like. Absolutely. Kat and I, were, we've been talking about it all morning uh, after they, they got here early just to make sure everything would run smoothly. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it smells so good before everything started cooking up, right Kat? I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, once they pulled out like the onions and the really <laughs> fresh vegetables, you could just smell it all the way across the studio <laughs> in the Weather Center, it was awesome. Yeah, so I mean, it, it's good to think about these things because like I said, you know, we want kids to be healthy when it, go, it comes to getting back to school. And it's just something to think about, you know, and if you, you know, you can do something like this at home certainly if you have for me I like to think of whenever we have leftovers and we can toss them into something like a, a wrap or whatever it's great but also it's also good to just go over to a place like Pita Pit where they have that larger selection of the fresh stuff especially on hand to make everything so yummy so popular what did we add, add on here what sauce was that Taylor? so we have the buffalo sauce and we put provolone on top and then with the ranch it's delicious yeah and it kind of mellows out the spiciness yes. too i'm sure if you like a little bit more spice we have a jalapeno ranch that goes amazing with it so. that's cool yes. that's cool well certainly we're so glad to have you all here this morning one thing that we do want to know if people want to head out to pita pit you guys have a several locations set out to certainly oh. over on the northeast side of town close to k96 and rock um, that's a location where people can head out to close to like, like I said, K96 Rock. You have all those different, uh, there are a lot of businesses around mm -hmm. there like the Walmart and I know the bowling alley certainly. And then down in Derby as well over on Meadowlark, right? Right, right in Derby Marketplace in front of Target. Perfect. Well, we do have a giveaway this morning. We asked people certainly thinking of back to school, thinking of lunch, what is your favorite thing, you know, thinking kind of that throwback. What's your favorite school lunch from back in the day? We have a winner that we've chosen this morning. So let's pull up her answer because I think you all you might like this one. Don Tucker gave us a pretty neat answer. She's winning our gift card, by the way. Uh, she says, my favorite school lunch was chili and cinnamon roll. I don't even know what made those cinnamon rolls so delish, but they were. <laughs> and certainly, hmm, good times. It's good to think about those school lunches, but it's also good about thinking things in terms of healthy. So again, feel free to chime in on our Facebook fan page. We're going to have another giveaway with Pita Pit tomorrow morning on the morning show. So certainly keep on the tastiness, the freshness and everything. We're so glad to have Emily and Taylor here this morning. And we'll be right back with more right here on Good Morning Kansas. Stay with us.